Okay, and uh, here we are once again. Didn't forgive you so soon. But here we are. I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I want to have this microphone position because it's kind of in my face, it's kind of annoying. But it's okay. Hey, you doing there, Alex? Good to have you. A little bit earlier as well for you, so there you go. Not going to be as sleepy, so that is excellent. Eh? Right, so I'm going to go ahead here and use the old phone. Still have not yet got a better method. Does it work? Yes. Does it drain my battery? That too. Uh, there we are. And chairs up. Yeah, <laughs> he emailed here saying, uh, when the hell are you going to put Kienko out of his misery? Hopefully today. Hopefully today. So shave and a haircut, two bits. I don't know what that one's in reference to, but yeah, smoke of the pancake. <laughs> a clip and a cigar, I think it goes to. Uh, so we will have a couple battles in China. Elsewhere, probably not too much. I don't expect too much elsewhere. How you doing there? Doom, good to have you, my friend. Now, we do have the KI... Well, the Key Fortifies. I should stop saying KI. Bloody filthy gaijin. Um, oh, okay, that's good. Ooh, we actually do see some ships there. So, some AKs did make it out. That's okay. We'll pick up on them shortly. Uh, the Key Fortifies have arrived over in the Marianas. I think I'm going to go ahead and split them up into smaller sub squadrons to uh, just I don't know potentially it depends really they're currently based at Saipan um, but I might split them up somewhat we don't really have much strength as such in the Marianas so I'm kind of thinking maybe split them up just to mm, spread the aviation out a little I don't think it's really required but damn it looks cool Need to decide. I mean, will they stay in the Marianas? I mean, they're currently in the Mar Marianas now. I may have them moved elsewhere. Okay, we had 132 encounter an enemy there, but it looks like AKs or PBs found PBs. Or AKs. Yeah, possibly so there, Grim. I might have them moved elsewhere. Oh, yes! Yes, they remembered they have a gun! Yes! Oh, stop missing! What? No! Oh, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Ah! You shoot once. You don't even take a shot. Why, I6? Why? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Ah! Yeah, because they use the goddamn freaking gun. And then they miss, and then they submerge after one shot. It's like, come on! I hope it was a good shot, though. Lucky son of a... That's so annoying. That's so, so annoying. <laughs> I know, right? It's like the one time, the one time they actually realise they have a deck gun and they're like, no, we're not going to use that. Uh, it's nice to find that... Well, it's nice to see that we are finding tankers out that way. Uh, I've dispatched another three submarines down towards that area as well. Right, we'll be able to take Good Enough Island here today. Well, possibly tomorrow. That lucky tanker though. I mean, come on, that... that uh, that's annoying. Well, I'm hoping that the shell did some damage at the very least. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, the 12 centimeter gun that she has, I think she had a 12 centimeter, uh, could do more damage to them than. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that's mine. Okay, good. So, yeah, he's definitely hunting them. Ooh! Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Stop firing! Oh, no! Stop firing! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So, Grayling here showing us how it's actually meant to be done. God damn, there's a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, she's carrying men as well, which is not great. Damn. Yeah, she goes down there. Yep, 
Yeah, there's quite a lot of torpedoes. And a bunch of them actually, well, two of them didn't blow up, which is amazing. Well, they worked eventually, but they also, I mean, that was like a 50-50 failure right there for the most part. Oh, we have seen a bunch of AKs around here. We'll be able to deal with them. They have really nowhere to go. Allied flow plane's interesting. They're near Ocean Islands. Hmm. Yeah, two dudes out of four. So the good news is we have our sweep gun in here. We are sending all the bombers here today. That was good to have you back there, uh, by the way, there, Quarter. Yeah, it's interesting how activity started to pick up with submarines now. There we go, that's one down. <laughs> It's not good that we had a ship there sink that was carrying men and material. I'm not sure what was on board that ship. Hopefully nothing too important. I don't think there's anything important as such. But any losses are not great, so yeah. That's the first time it's happened for a long time, actually, so I guess it happens. I mean, this is why we send our ships... Well, essentially when we move units, we send units in um, across on AKs and at least pairs. The very minimum is a pair of ships. The reason being that if one of them is sunk, then the other half the unit survives and they can be rebuilt. So I decided to go ahead and bomb the runway over here. The reason being I want to try and reduce the supply in the area. And prevent any fortification, but I don't feel the doing that. But yeah, I want to try and hit that supply really. I mean, those key fort frees, I don't think we have the best pilots either. I think they're average pilots, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think they're okay pilots. Yeah, well that's it. At minimum they go on two ships, and then it does improve their survival loss pretty nicely. How you doing there, plumber? <laughs> you miss the fun. <laughs> oh, what fun. Right, so the Negato class uh, should arrive over here at Rapal today. Well, they will arrive at Rapal today. I've told them to automatically disband their task force, so what I'm going to go ahead and do then is... I'd like to organize a bombardment of Morsby, actually. Hey, didn't that doze? Yeah, to be fair, I only got the turn recently, and I uh, have a terrible habit of not really telling people. Ooh, okay. I was kind of annoyed that they went to around escort, but that's okay. The weather is always a difficult one in this area of northern China. We always seem to have problems. Yeah, there's not much they could have done there. Okay. Right, we will be attacking the tank battalion over here today. Uh, the RTA unit moving from here south should arrive there today, I believe. Yeah, he's trying to bomb us over here, but it's... it's uh, uh, I mean, this is it. I probably will put a cap up. It's just difficult because he does have the capability for the Hurricanes out there. And the Hurricanes would mm, chew us up. Okay, moving to the pier. Yeah, we are aware of submarines near Rangoon there. So, AKLs. Right, that's interesting seeing... Sh uh, yeah, so we are seeing float planes out there. And there's not much that actually will... Will do that. So he's either got PBYs in the area, or he has a ship in the area. I'm going to assume probably PBY. 
Yeah, I really do not like the hurricanes. So we're attacking here as well today. Really nice hits though, really nice. So I'm still reconnoitering, well, reconnoitering Luganville there. I'm glad that Luganville is empty, it means we can do a lot there potentially. Uh, the third of the division from the marshals will be arriving at Lagi shortly. The sooner that they're on the ground, the better, then at least they're safe. Uh, but we will be using that element to capture that area, I'd imagine. Okay, so we do have our... Ah, uh, is it the fourth? Fourth Battle of Kyanko? Or is it the fifth Battle of Kyanko? I think it's the fourth Battle of Kyanko. But here we are, we are attacking a Kyanko here. Uh, we do have additional strength as to what we had previously. We do have the 37th Division over here, which is in full strength, which is nice. Hopefully that will provide that oomph just to be able to get us across the finish line, but we'll see. Speeding things up. It doesn't look as if he's had any reinforcements of anything of that nature. And the Bombardment does a tremendous job as well, which is really nice. I think this probably is the final battle of Kyanko. We'll see. In some ways, this not being the final battle of Kyanko doesn't actually work terribly um, against us either. But I think this probably will be the final one. We'll see, but I think it's probably final. Okay, there's a big fight. And Third seventh will be attacking here shortly. Yeah, there's third seventh attacking. Okay. There's a lot of artillery. Yeah, and we have Kyanko there. Excellent. So, yeah, I think that was expected there. We did have more AB, but that is the Battle of Kyanko finally, finally resolved there. Those are a lot of men retreating here. Interesting. Are they all going to retreat? Oh, surrenders here. Wow, okay. AA Regiment surrenders. Construction surrenders. The AA Regiment surrendering there is really good news. And they're all heading to Chongqing, which is not surprising there. So, I think what we'll do then is we'll probably have a force. We need to look at what we have here to work with. Uh, but we'll probably head south and defeat them once again. But I would like to have a sizable contingent head towards Chengdu. Uh, but there we go, Banzai. We finally have our victory there. So, oh wow. <laughs> okay, that's not bad at all there. Yeah. Uh, so we lose six squads here. Six squads destroyed, so they had low supply there. We had no plus, but they had no... Yeah, no benefit here. Uh, they had, well, they had terrain, but they had only negative modifiers here. The uh, full level was zero. Uh, their adjusted defense was 287 there. It looks like they had 751 here in total. Yeah, that was always going to be a defeat for them. Yep, disabled can be recovered. We do have some destroyed over here, like destroyed engineers, but really quite low. Disabled, we can recover. Oh, those are big numbers. Uh, 12,645 casualties, 825 squads destroyed, 14 disabled, 983 uh, non-combatants destroyed, 144 disabled, 178 engineers destroyed, 221 guns destroyed, 16 disabled, 3 units destroyed, 27 retreat there. There we go. Uh, they could be reformed over here to Chongqing given time. I'm not sure if they could be. I'm not sure how it works, but I know units reform here. I think calls do for free. He might be able to reform those units by paying for them, but he's not going to have a huge amount of time to work with them. Uh, but there we go. We do have the Battle of Kyanko finally and successfully resolved, and we have victory here for the Imperial Army of the Fields. That's good. That's actually a very important victory there. So now they're going to be in a pretty tremendously bad position. I think we will turn our bombers against them and hit them in the open plains. But yeah, we will be able to chase them down. Uh, they're going to be quite heavily fatigued and disrupted, so we'll see. Uh, we could head south, and I might head directly south with the greatest amount of strength, actually. There's a road towards Chengdu, but there is a unit in that mountain. I will probably detach some units to actually... Uh, well, we need to control the area around. But I think I'll probably have the mainstay of the force head south, and then we can head up um, the western road towards Chengdu and approach it from a better direction, but we'll see how that works out. 
Okay. We do have our attack of Ida Wu Chao, and looks like we'll have Wu Chao as well. That looks like a good attack there. Hopefully we'll take Tuyun too. We're marching over here to Chikyang. Looks like, yep, our forces arrived over here. So ideally we take Wu Chao intact because there is industry here to Wu Chao. But that'd be great to take away from him as well and deprive him of more industry. It will also free up the 104th Division to, kind of, uh, to continue north as well, which is good news there. Or potentially elsewhere, we might decide to move it elsewhere. Divisions are quite good after all. Okay. I think the 104th hasn't attacked as of yet. Oh, did they attack? 686, 128. Yeah, looks like it's not required either. Wu Chao is captured, so they're heading towards Pak Hoi. Now, there's a unit here on our side, so he might end up being forced here. Yeah, he is. Uh, I don't think there's roads here either. So, we have three destroyed again. A strong number here today. Uh, we inflict another 190 destroyed, 170 destroyed, 38 destroyed, another 22, uh, 22 guns destroyed there. And we do take the city of Wu Chao. I'm bombarding over here. I could likely attack there, but I want to surround them to make sure we can completely devastate them, really. Well, force them to surrender, really. Interesting that they're taking that much in the way of casualties. That's not exactly heavy bombardment capability there. Uh, we have our little bit of attack over here in the mountains. Against the 83rd Chinese Corps. Try and drive them out of the mountains, and they are driven out. Towards Yunnan, so they're moving over here, then. Okay. Low supply. Uh, very low numbers there. We do have the attack at Tu Yun. So, just over 100 odd. Maybe about 150 AV. We should be okay there. They'll probably... Yeah, okay. So they hold on there. 415. So we have zero destroyed there, just disabled. So that one's going to take a little bit of time, depending. But we'll be able to get to Yun shortly. Uh, for level 2. For, yeah. Okay, we'll be able to take care of that. I think probably what I'll do here is bomb the airfield and drive that supply down. Okay, so still some strength over here to Kagayan, but we'll begin working on that. But ultimately a good day in China. Now if they're heading south, they are going to be running into naval attack, so good luck to them. Okay. And we have our attack here against the 7th Armoured Brigade. Another tank regiment has arrived to join the party. We do have the support of the RTA. 5 to 1 odds there, 4 to 7 to 9. So, yeah. They are low in supply. We have 3 destroyed here, 10 disabled. Uh, yeah, and we do not take any losses ourselves here today, so that's good news. And so they are starting to take more and more losses here, which is good. How you doing there, Haston? Good to have you, my friend. The mini garrison northwest of New Caledonia. Oh, it's not there. It's not been there for quite some time, actually. We moved it out. Right, so just a little bit of strength here. We'll be able to push them back, and then we'll be able to continue on the road here. So quite a few battles here in China today. Yeah, we'll continue to push on them, really. They don't have a chance now. Yeah, that's good news. Retreating to Suyong. Okay. 13 disabled, another 61 destroyed there. Right, continue the bombardment. Gonna get the artillery moving from over here in the north of entry down here to Java. We do have our shock attack against the BFF Brigade, the 106 and the 4th Burma Rifles. Hopefully they surrender. No, they're gonna continue to be a pain. Ah. That's such a pain, but I can continue to chase them. Okay. How are you doing there, Erwin? Good to have you, my friend. It's been pretty good so far. It's been pretty good. Naval, uh, we just had some in action. Air, nothing really much. Just finishing the ground base here at the moment. We did take Yanko here today, which is good news. There we go. I did want to take on Tong Java. Hello! 
I always scroll down because I always think that it might be like a BBY that we didn't know about. Uh, but there we go. So we had a pretty damn good turn then, actually. Okay, yep, it's banned in there. Ah, Paramashiro Jima. It's banned to port size to size 2. That's good news. I'm going to keep going until we get a level 3 because then it becomes a protected port. And I can work with that. Okay, quite a few expansions there. Okay, so a busy day in China then. Our losses were actually pretty good. I mean, we had majority disabled. I mean, how many losses did we take there? Um, maybe, maybe in total 10, 20, 30, just, uh, sorry, maybe 30 squads destroyed? Something like that. I think we inflicted over a thousand easily. So a pretty good exchange rate there. We'll take a look at the situation, see how the Menek Yenko are, and we should be able to move on from there then. Now, this is where we're going to employ the bombers, really, so happy about that. I-29 arrives at Port Arthur, that's interesting. Oh, additional artillery has arrived there. A cavalry regiment arrives too. Nice, I'll have to check where that belongs. So, we'll go ahead and save that there. Yep, I'm glad that we finally have Kyanko, that does free us up now. It's going to put a lot of pressure on him in China. It deprives him of another uh, base. It doesn't produce anything for him, but it does mean that the gates to Chongqing and uh, Chengdu are now open. So we'll decide where we're going to march. Likelihood is we rest a day. I could potentially have the armor head south, we'll see. Yes, I know, Alex. It, it's, it's a curse. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Right, so we'll have to build up supply of that. Yeah, so what I was talking about over here, but I'm glad that we stopped him heading over here to this hex. That's good. Buys us some space. So there's a mountainous hex over here with one unit in here, then rough. Uh, the major road heads south over here. Yeah, there's still 100,000 men there. Just, that just shows you how many men he had here at Kyanko. I don't imagine they're going to be in a great state. I actually... 92,000 men. I wonder if he moved those men back across here, but I don't think so. Uh, so over here, then, I'm going to go ahead and continue to deliberate attack. We'll be able to break that. Bomber support would be great to help them too. Okay, so we have our two divisions here. A third division is moving up as well. So the 104th division now. Yeah, so that's all nasty, nasty terrain. Wooded terrain, so it's not as bad as it could be. We do have forces on their way to Pakhoi now, as we speak. So... Wow, why did they... They picked up a lot of supply there. Uh, that doesn't make me comfortable them picking up so much supply, but okay. I will have them drop off the men and probably have that supply either move back to Shanghai, but it's probably not very efficient. I'll just have it offloaded over here at Canton and it'll, and it'll disseminate its way back over there. I wish you could tell them, like, pick up only this much. Due to Shanghai being a very large port at size 7, they can load on a lot, so it's a difficult thing to deal with sometimes. Two allied submarines over there, okay. Now we do have our units over here, so he has no way out now. No way. I'll have them march across over here to make sure we close that off. Yeah, but he's pretty much doomed. So we have a first tank regiment that's arrived over here now. The amount of tanks are increasing. Uh, the 14th Tank Regiment will join the party tomorrow as well. That's good. Okay. So yeah, we'll just continue to attack there. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? We have 59 squads, but we have over 100 tanks here. So it's actually turned into the largest uh, tank battle in Asia right now. Any G4M in the Bay of Bengal. We do have G4M1s over here running search. We do have G3M2s running the main uh, attack, essentially. We haven't seen shipping out here for a while. I really dislike the hurricane, so that kind of clips our wings. It does have a decent amount of fight strength over here. Once we get the key 44s, then at least we have something we can work with. But our wings are a little bit clipped until that day. Get that march in south. Okay. So, the division has arrived over here, that's good. The 8th tank regiment has arrived as well. We do have reconnaissance there to work with too, so that's good news. I'm going to check on the state of the units at Kienko shortly, actually. I forgot to do that. So yeah, just a couple ships there. Uh, so, we have all of Mindanao 
besides Gagayan now. That's good news. Uh, we do have the light cruiser and DD over there, so I can send them out to deal with them. What did they encounter that underway? Uh, let's see. Where was the actual attack by the submarine? Um, hard to say. Ninety five eighty one. Ah, okay, so she may have been carrying a coiver. Okay. Right time. Right, we'll check on the state of the troops at Kienko. But yeah, he's patrolling those uh, central waters there. Okay, so we'll sort here then. So yeah, we do have a supply requirement, but that will be okay. Uh, fatigue's not too bad here, actually. Obviously, they do need to rest, but it's not so bad. The 37th I could potentially have moved out, but we'll see. So we'll look at 2740 AV. We do have... A little bit more AV moving across the river will arrive tomorrow, actually. Now, I may have it linger here, but I'm not super sure. As I do have a 12C moving across here as well. And then I should be in Hex tomorrow, which is good news. I'm going to keep them in movement mode, actually. There's no river here, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, we do have our forces here. They're moving across there, so that's good. We had that battle conclude in our favour. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I dislike digging, digging them out in the mountains, but it has to be done. Excuse me. Okay, well, we have two brigades there. I think I'm going to have them head south. Ooh, do we say that? Do we do that? In fact, I'll have them head to this road here. They can eventually join in at Yunnan. Well, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, we will have forces move down this way. If I have a holding unit here, we'll be okay. Eventually, I'll be able to move out on as we have additional forces move down here too. What I'm thinking about doing is I may head directly south and then take this road over here and head to Chengdu. That might be the way to go there. So it would mean that we'd be able to march. It might be worthwhile gaining the march on him now. I don't think it's going to be moving too quickly. I could have them bombed by units. I could have the armor move out. He can't attack them either. And they can. Whoops, no. Um, it's major roads. They can move in in a turn and out in a turn if needs be. So that's good to have. So I think we'll head south. Yeah. Well, this is it. I think we'll head this way. I'm not going to have the power to march on Chunky. I'm actually interested in Chengtu. If I march this way, oh, actually, we're dealing with rough terrain here as well. But it's not so bad. I can avoid that. I think that's the way we want to go. Um, I'd like to take the base here as well if I could do. And that would open up another road there. Right. So carry on marching. There we are. So, oh, that looks like it's been destroyed there. Oh, that's a shame. So it looks like in the fight in the Wuchao, we actually didn't capture it. So that's a shame. Oh, well. Would have been nice, but hey-ho. So road's down here, then. Okay. I may have the 104th march on. Is there a garrison requirement here? Yes, there is. Yeah, exactly there, Alex. That's what I'm thinking too. Okay. That's a lot of supply being carried there. Um, I don't think we captured anything at Wu Chao. I think it was all destroyed. Yeah, zero zero. 
So not great, but I... That's fine. So we'll be marching across here then shortly. So we engage the tanker around this area here. Uh, they don't have bad aggression. Hmm. Perhaps we should use the deck gun more. Well, oh well. I guess they captured. Uh, sorry, I guess they hit something. Um, I think it was just some light industry there. Um, I'd have to. What I'd say is probably go back to the episode beforehand, and then maybe look at when we hovered over Wu Chao. Uh, missing out on some light industry is a shame. Would have been nice to have had that. How the hell is he moving so quick? Like, how is he moving that quick? He should not be able to... Like, what the hell is that unit? How is it moving so quickly? I know it's Major Rowe, but goddamn. So they were due to attack there. Huh. Okay. Well, he can't outrun that. I'm really quite surprised though. I'm not sure how it's moving so quick. Very weird. Got all that fuel there, wow. Hmm. Seventy first division. Okay. So that could be reformed here. Right, that's good to know. I'll have to sort those guys out. Okay. So we did see Yeah, they are spotted here. He may be running PBYs at Baker Island. I think they're within range if he goes at standard. Which is not too shocking. I'd like to go ahead and check out Baker Island. It does make sense, so it does have an airfield. It doesn't even need an airfield, but I'm just saying it does make sense. Okay. So we can take that base there. Have them loaded back on board. We can move out then. Now they came. I think they came from Rabala actually. These troops. Uh, yes, majority is at Rabal, so I'll have them move back. There we are. Oh, let's take a look then. So we're at twenty thousand uh, three hundred sixty-eight here today. Okay. Uh, two I-16s here, then one to air to wear, one to ops. We have a Dina go down to ops, a Sally go down to ops, a DC-2, which is a Dutch aircraft, is it? I'm not sure, but that went down as well here today. Uh, sadly goes down. 
Okay, so five out of six then. So detection is building on Luganville. I do want to take Luganville fairly quickly. We'll be moving into that area shortly then anyway. Uh, we've completed our resizing up here with the... I think it's the Kagi or the Kaga, I forget which one. How you doing that, G-Man? Good to have you, my friend. Uh, I'm going to have the kid of a time move south then shortly. So, he's moving more ships over here. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. How are you doing, my friend? Hmm. Yeah, ideally. That's a good point as well to be made there, Alex. Okay. You is good, that is good. You got the rest. Okay. So I'll send the CL bird to deal with those AKs. I mean, if he heads this way anyway, he's going to be hit by naval attack, so... <laughs> okay. Right. I am moving bombers now south to the island to Moor eventually, and then we will begin bombing Darwin. Okay. So it's looking pretty good then, so we had a number of victories then across the board, which is excellent. Now, for these troops over here then, we'll see. Uh, here. So they have arrived, so they can just stay in combat mode for the time being. I will have the tankettes over here. Um, actually, they will likely be useful here, but the terrain does differ, so I think I'm going to have them head on this way. I want them to be able to move and take territory for us and really get down those roads. So I'm going to move them on here. So they're okay. Do I need a garrison? I think I... No, I don't need a garrison over here at Chikyang, so that's good news. Right. Yeah, they're good to go, so they can go ahead and attack. I think it's a tiny unit over here, isn't it? Yeah, just the four units that we routed here. Uh, we'll go ahead and make that a shock attack then. Okay. Now, I could have that other division join now. What are the roads like here? Um, it's not great either way. I may have that division just march on here to deal with them ultimately. But I'm not sure if it's worthwhile using a division. I may have that brigade, but I don't know. Um, I could always move this way, but it depends. I might just march on them, actually. I guess I will. It's kind of a pain in the ass having to deal with units like this. But once we do take Pike Hoi, then that's good. I need to try and give them no retreat option, and then they will surrender, ideally. But we're getting there. These troops are marching across the river now, so they'll be across shortly. So over here then, yeah, that disruption is diminishing, that's good. Uh, we can continue with that. The damage over here at the airfield, 31. So they're not going to be building any fortifications, which is a good thing. I think I might have them switch over to attacking Teal, but I might have them just switch over to attacking the forces over here in the field. They had 200 guns lost there, which is quite good, if that's to be believed. So they lost quite a lot of their unfair. Uh, the AA unit being destroyed as well is quite useful, so I'm quite happy about that. Okay, uh, check on Igtel, Sydney, San Francisco, and Pearl Harbor, not too surprising. That does worry me though, but he's actually um, clearly established some sort of naval search down here. Right. Thirty-four, thirty-six. Okay, there's a lot of ships in there. That'd be great to hit Sydney, I tell you that. Would be nice to hit Sydney. Okay. So, our BBs have arrived over here, which is good news. Okay. We do have the Onyo over here as well, so we do have these elements in place now to allow us to do a few nifty little things. They need to just undergo some repairs. We do have some ships over here that need to go uh, in for repairs. A lot of them should be sorted by repair ship, to be honest. I'll just have you left as you are. You do have some repairs underway, I do believe. Alright, I do have a Kagero. Kagero. Okay. 
So what I need to go ahead and do then is organize for a bombardment with the Mutsu class. Sorry, the Nagato class. Those guns will do as good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bombard Moresby. That'd be great. I suppose, uh, it depends really. I would love to go ahead and bombard Kant. And I think that's something that we will do. And something that we definitely will do, I believe. What's the approach like there? So we can't get directly in there. We have to go through here. Or through this way. So it is a little bit trickier to work with, but not so bad. But I would like to go ahead and do that. Mines would be a problem, but we should probably be able to mitigate that by bombarding at range. Uh, but we'll see. I'd like to go ahead and have Buna built up so I could actually have that air power. But having the Unyo does help us out tremendously by having the capability to perform a LR camp, which is very nice. Right, those troops are moving down to the area now, so they're not too far away. That's good. Okay, so I to go ahead and have that fuel move to Stuart Island so we can use it to leap for, uh, leapfrog. APs, are they going to play ball? They're loading troops, okay. Hopefully they actually do their job now. Uh, would be good. Okay. Yeah, so I think we will have a kind of tie. Head south. It does present an interesting position. I do have additional aviation support moving out to the Royal uh, the area here. But I think we might be able to do something good. It depends, really. He's always going to have the capability to raid us in this area. But we do have at least some defences. At least now we have some key fort freeze over here, which I'll break up, I do believe. Just need to, we don't really have much strength here to resist. It's just mostly having the capability to do so. So whether I have those fighters move elsewhere, I'm not too sure. Uh, but we'll see. They're there now. It'd be great to increase that number. I'd like to take the other Oscars over here in China and probably have them move out that way. Uh, but we'll see. Thank God he's not attacking us over here in Burma because there's not a great deal I can do over here in Burma against these 17s for the most part. We can fight. Of course we can. But we don't have the greatest number of fighters. We could move assets to enable us to fight... But yeah, I'm not interested in a war of attrition over here in the air, and I'm quite happy to just keep on building up our strength elsewhere. We've got what we want here in Burma, so I'm happy with that. Okay. They're going to keep on resting, so I think we'll wait for the other division to arrive, I reckon. Uh, we're looking at uh, two more days until they arrive. A brigade's crossing as well behind them, which should arrive a day after. So I could actually have them in combat mode the day after, and then they would actually arrive to join the battle, which is good. That will be a big treat there, I'd imagine, which is good. And then we'll march on over here. It doesn't look to be reactive here, which is, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Dadman's strategy in China is an interesting one, so at least. Yeah, I mean, this is it. You look at this. This is Times Street terrain. This is all the nasty part of China that we'd have to deal with. So eventually we will drive him out to this base over here at uh, Tion and Chikyang, and then we're starting to move into times 2 terrain, but there is times 3 to the north, but yeah, we need to deal with that. At least by having our forces in the north over here to really create problems for him, that does help us out. But he doesn't have a lot to play with anymore. China is really under siege here. We're obviously making progress here. This will make progress. We could obviously move more force there. We drive it up here in the center, we should be able to move up this road too. Um, his forces over here are being slowly encircled. We'll eventually get that and circle him here. And we're capturing industry at the same time, which means that we're gaining in strength and he's diminishing. He's been denied oil and fuel from Burma for a long time. He lost the north of China and his own sources there of fuel and oil, so yeah. He's not had access to that for quite some time now. Eventually his stores will run out of fuel and he will no longer benefit from heavy industry. But I will try to help him. We'll head for Chengdu, ultimately head south, take Cheng, uh, Chengdu. If I could take uh, Nei Qiang as well, that'd be great as well, deny that industry. He does have a fair amount of industry over here in Chongqing. Um, but we'll just have to bomb the heck out of it, really. Just keep bombing the airfields and just try and hit that supply, really. Him having to fire AA is a good thing too. 
But yeah, it's going to have quite a few forces in a chunking. It's going to take some time, but we'll take a lot of power to be able to eventually defeat him. But if I can take his supply down, then that's going to be great. But at least we're dealing with a China that doesn't have... I'm not sure what his supply situation is. I can't imagine it's great. But I imagine he will have sufficient stockpiles of chunking to last for at least some time. So we'll have to see. I'm hoping that we'll be able to use our guns to eventually... Take his strength down. And there's... Uh, 1,400 guns here. We do have a large number of guns over here moving as well. More artillery here moving too. Eventually those guns will converge on Chunking. So we'll have the guns from all the artillery divisions over here as well. But I need to have all that artillery converge over here to Chunking and then we can use that against him. Hopefully that'll be able to drive him down. But I mean, we do have air superiority in China for the most part. He still has some fighters out here, but not much. So that's good news. Okay. The submarines out of this area is a little bit of a pain in the ass, because there's not too much I can do here. That is a rarity, really, that ship not having an escort. Most ships in this area do have an escort. That one we did split off. But yeah, he's operating in this area, it seems, then, so we'll have to respond to that. But I will manage. Move in some air power here south. Probably don't want to have it run so direct. Light cruiser over there. I mean, as far as it goes for Wake, I do want to get in there and bombard Wake. I do. But yeah, I mean, this is it. He knows what he's doing. He's really overpowered in there and Wake. There's not a huge amount I can do about that. We do have the AKs over here. I'm going to pull the forces from Thongi. At least the naval guard. Back over here. Okay. I decide where they're actually going to go, to be honest. I'm going to say uh, it's Quadrillion for the time being. Hopefully they work quickly. Oh, that's a shame. So that Koi did go down there. That is a big shame there. Daito Shoto. That's a shame. So we'll have to rebuild that unit there. Yeah, so I mean that one, it was a... So it's two ships with two Koi's there. And one of the Koi's got sank. So that's a shame. But we can rebuild that unit. So we captured Kyanko, Wuchao, Kirina Island, Woodlark Island, Oton Java. Okay. Right, they're beginning. Oh no, sorry, they've re uh, fitted over here at Pescadores, that's good. Ooh, uh, they've been upgraded over here at Batavia. I 29 arrives there. Okay. Right, so that's pretty good then. So I will call it a day here. Thank you very much for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you have enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the future. So, for now, goodbye, and we'll see you again shortly. Oyasumi Nasai. Sayonara.